Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. With special thanks to Revenant, a nerd in war paint, Antonio Hernandez, Matthew Holmquist, Nathan Welch Jr., and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Wasteland 3, as we continue our road trip across the frigid wastes of post-apocalyptic Colorado. We're still heading out towards Denver, but by my count, we've got about 150 miles plus an entire mountain range between us and there, so it might take a while. That's fine, though. Gives us plenty of time to uh, take in a few tourist traps and roadside attractions. We'll just start heading that way and see where the uh, road takes us. Though, uh, before that, we do have a few points to spend. Let me just take a peek at my notes real quick. Okay, so first up, Lucia's got a couple of attribute points, and um, instead of immediately maxing out her coordination, let's go ahead and dump those into strength. She's definitely a bit too much on the uh, fragile side at the moment, so this should make her a bit more durable. Uh, not to mention that uh, once we boost her strength even higher, she'll be able to start wearing heavier armor. Longway's also sitting on a big stack of skill points, so let's go ahead and bump his small arms and animal whisperer. And, uh, of course, we are going to max out his nerd stuff while we're at it. That is reliant on keeping um, a nerd stuff item in his utility slot, but that's pretty much going to be a permanent fixture. I think that's it. Obviously, we've got a lot of other unspent points floating around, but we're going to hold on to those for now. Who would have thought the uh, 80 redundant PDAs we found would actually end up coming in handy? Well, two of them anyway. And there we go. One more skill we will no longer need to worry about. All right, so uh, as I said, we still have our sights set on Denver. We're going to go ahead and continue scouting for a potential shortcut. If we can't track one down, then we'll just fill out this area here and then start heading south and east. No big deal. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Okay, come on. Anyway, I don't, um, I don't think we're actually going to get to Denver today, but we should, uh, hopefully still find a few side locations to keep ourselves busy with. Bit by bit, we are clearing all the available content. We will happily take $500. Yeah, okay, so we definitely do not have a shortcut up here. So I guess we'll go ahead and fill out these gaps and then start heading south and east. We could really stand to uh, swing by Colorado Springs anyway. A robot wanders across the road ahead of you, then another. Looks like a squad of them. At this point, you could give them the slip. Or not. Yeah, sure. 
I'm not going to object to some quick loot and XP. You get into a flanking position without the robots noticing. Time to strike. Interesting. Disco bots, octatrons, and killers. I'm not sure I've seen this combination of foes before. Uh, not in a random encounter, anyway. Our biggest threat here is obviously the killers, but uh, those towers actually kind of work against them. It gives them elevation, but... They can't climb ladders, so they're basically stuck up there. We'll just uh, keep our distance from the left towers. We'll deal with them once we're finished with the rest of these guys. Nice hit. Rally. Let's go ahead and grab that Octatron. That'll make a handy distraction for the killers. Let's go ahead and grab that Disco Bot, too. We just want to make sure Longway can get to cover after. Now, where do we go from here? That'll do. Oh, hey. <laughs> I guess we'll set him in ambush mode. We'll probably have the um, Kodiak sweep the left towers. Let's just focus on the right first. Go ahead and finish that thing off. Not too shabby. I think we're in pretty good shape here.
<laughs> nice. I haven't heard that one before. Um, apparently that's DC Douglas. He's done a ton of voice work all over the place, but in video games, I think he's best known for Wesker in Resident Evil and uh, Legion in Mass Effect. I think we're about two turns from finishing this. One turn for the uh, central bulk, and then another turn for the towers. Yeah, we'll just start pushing the Kodiak towards the towers. Well, I suppose that would have made things too easy. That's fine. We've got this. Okay, I believe that takes care of the immediate threats. Oh, right, we've still got this guy. Hmm. Well, I don't think Rhett can take that thing out, so... I think we'll just hunker down. Oh, don't do that. Now, we can finish this. <laughs> That's 
That's one. That's two. Funny, but you're laughing at jokes. And that is three. Nicely done, November. Just a big old pile of smashed up robots. You know, one of the uh, more intriguing discoveries I made while I was working on that cut content video was a skill book for a cut scavenging skill. I really would have liked to see a more comprehensive scavenging system in Wasteland 3. Much like the uh, scavenging and synth tech skills that were cut from Wasteland 2, I imagine they were intended to uh, help the player harvest better components off of mechanical foes. Alright, let's go ahead and bump Pazepi's coordination. She could definitely use more action points. And let's go ahead and max out Longway's Intelligence. Dude's got six skills. He needs every skill point he can get. Speaking of which, I think we'll go ahead and bump Animal Wrangler. And then we'll uh, hold those last five points. Moving on. That's the uh, new residential area they were tacking onto Aspen, uh, you know, before Vic swept in and made it superfluous. Okay, let's fill in this last little chunk here and then we'll start heading back east. Hidden structure. You roll up to a small bunker. There is a sign over the entrance which reads, CDC Research, Authorized Personnel Only. An old 10-digit electronic keypad is mounted besides the door. I guess we'll go for mechanics. Eke out a few extra experience points. It takes a bit of work, and some power drawn from the Kodiak to get it working, but you're able to reroute the lock systems. The door unlocks. The place appears to have been a lab of some kind. Many of the samples are still locked in storage. Looks like the workers cleared out in a hurry, leaving what they were doing at the time. Hmm. 
Well, that seems like an unusual option. <laughs> Consider my curiosity peaked. You and your team open their eyes and find that you're all lying on the floor. You feel weird. You put the vial back in the fridge and then finish looting, still dizzy. Hey, another nerd stuff skill book. Nice. You load up a nice bundle of supplies onto the Kodiak and hit the road. Definitely worth the effort. Hmm. A book on AI, a broken cage, and high-end medical supplies. It does make you wonder. Flesh pocket. Gross, but surprisingly functional. Cool. Well, I guess we are now a team of mutant marsupials. You know, as far as mutations go, that's pretty tame. I can live with that. I actually wish it was a bit easier to uh, get mutations. There's like a dozen of them programmed into the game, but they're very difficult to actually trigger. Let's go ahead and hit the pause button real quick. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of these new quick slots. We'll be right back. And we are back. We've got a small bit left to clear here, but uh, after that, like I said, we're going to go ahead and gun it for Denver. I don't think we're going to make it there, but I am hoping we'll find something worth exploring. If not here, then definitely once we get out east. I think we've uh, still got about a dozen side locations we haven't actually seen yet. Oh, um, okay. Frontier Justice. I actually kind of forgot about that. Western Mountains. Yeah, I guess that would be right out here somewhere. Hmm. You know what? I think we just found what we're doing. remaining west of Colorado Springs, please. Sure, sure. Just keep talking. This is Nelius Dorsey. To any remaining fighters in the mountains, rendezvous at Snowed Inn Resort. Repeat. There we go. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, and we've got a map marker. Looks like we're not too far out. Let's uh, see if we can find our way down there. Well, definitely not what I was planning to do today, but it will be nice to check one more thing off our to-do list. We'll definitely head for Denver next time, though. Assuming we survive. 
Snowed in resort. Before the bombs fell, this was a popular vacation retreat. Now it's home only to wild animals. Or is it? Spoiler, uh, no, it's not. All right, right off the bat, we've got a gate and then two branching paths, one off to the left and one to the right. No immediate threats in sight. Oh, and we could, uh, we can actually crack that open. So we might just go right down the middle. There's my gum. Nope. Another rat turd. I have no idea where that came from, but we've definitely got Dorsey's nearby. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, if we uh, didn't have a Master of Unlocking in our squad, then we would have to take those side paths to uh, access switches or computers to uh, remotely open the gates. Oh my. I believe that is what you might call a killing field. I'm actually pretty sure that's the same gun we have mounted on the Kodiak. Okay, so we could just bust in guns blazing, but we'd be surrounded by enemies who all have the high ground. Which seems like a bad idea. Sure, the union ain't keen on us being outside like this, right? Guys? Let's see if we can um, circle around and push through this building to the right. With any luck, that'll let us get into their back line, and at the very least, deprive them of that height advantage. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. And we do have a path around the building, so I think this is our best bet. Very nice. The rest of these guys are all melee fighters, so we'll just chill out on the bridge and kill them on approach. Let's see here. That one's frozen, so we can focus fire on a different one. Alright, I guess we'll uh, go ahead and finish this one off.
Wow, <laughs> that uh, that worked out almost perfectly. I am flabbergasted. My guests have been thoroughly flabbered. In my field of fire. Right, we've got this. Trying to optimize ammo expenditure. Though I suppose it's not that big a deal. We're actually pretty well off. That's fine, bonkers. It turns out you can still gloat after someone's dead. In fact, in a lot of ways, it actually makes it easier. SR-2000 Argent. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a big step down. Though, to be fair, it is using 30-06 rounds, which are a lot cheaper and more plentiful than 50 cal. So it is the more economical of the two. Hmm. Really feels like there should be something hidden here. Zen Zoe. It takes patience to fight with skill. There's time to kill and a time to kill. Plus 2% hit chance. Yes, please. I think that might actually be the best creepy doll we've found so far. You know, I was actually a little reluctant to uh, come out here because this is one of the late game quests. But uh, we're doing okay so far and uh, the rewards are definitely worth it. Um, that's probably normal. And there's our switch for the gate. Minerva. An owl, eyes deep with wisdom and forbidden knowledge, is carved into this small stone medallion. The Greek letters Alpha, Theta, and Epsilon bestride the bird. He speaks. Uh, sort of. Venite ad Cormontis. I'm sorry, I do not speak your crazy moon language. But I'll certainly try to translate that in post.
Also, let us uh, hastily move away from these chickens. Because they appear to be trying to eat our microphone. Whoop. All right, all right. Yeah, I think this will work. And here we go. Oh, look at that. The Kodiak is in on this fight. And it has changed its name to Cowboy Petey. I would question that, but uh, now is not the time. Okay, let's go ahead and rally. Now let's nuke those snipers. Oh, nice. I didn't think that would actually kill either of them. I was just clearing cover. Turret's ours. Blood Beast is next. Let's, um... Let's make a run for that last sniper. Okay, slight change of plans. admire that guy's moxie, if nothing else. Anyway, now we can push the sniper. Oh yeah, that should uh, work out just fine. Plus three action points from Trigger Happy. Oh, nice. And there we go. Doctor dying for medical attention. That is usually how it works, yes. That pal's moved in too quick. Otherwise, that would have been uh, perfect for another rocket. 
Actually, you know what? I think we've got this. If we just take out that war bot, Bonkers should be fine. Let's go ahead and punch a hole through that thing's central processor. That will do it. <laughs> Thank you, doll. Oh, shoot. We've still got a rocket launcher on the field. Um... Okay. I have a plan for the raider. Let's just clear these guys first. Thank you, Pazepi. Okay, now, uh, this might go poorly, but we're gonna have everyone keep their distance, except for Bonkers. We'll see if he can uh, draw the Dorsey Raiders' attention. Operation Send in the Clown is go. Godspeed, Bonkers. And there you have it. As suspected, no one can resist shooting at a clown. kill buff. Kind of overkill at this point, but sure, why not? Let's get it together! Welcome back, bonkers. You did great. There's not much point in blocking up that gate. We really just need to take out that turret. Oh, 
He did it. Nice. Very nice. Bonkers has a shattered shoulder, but... Otherwise, we made it through that unscathed. Not too shabby. Let's see what that got us. Low tier rocket launcher. But we can use the rockets. I've got to say, that was kind of an underwhelming haul. Let's see what else we've got out here. Slightly outdated shotgun. Yeah, I guess that's it. There's the uh, gatehouse we skipped. Alright, we're just about out of time, but let's go ahead and crack this last doorway. See what awaits us inside. Looking for Nelius Dorsey. You found him. That old bastard Saul send you. This man is lean, rugged, and wolfishly handsome. Scars run down one cheek, crossing the lines carved by tough years in the wilderness. He holds up his hands in surrender, a slight smile on his face. It wasn't the Patriarch that brought us here. It was me. I'm Lucia Wesson, and I'm here for vengeance. For justice for what you did to my family. Wesson? <laughs> I thought the Reed Boy took you all to the Garden of the Gods. You could never count on the Reeds to do anything right. Say, speaking of fathers, did you know that Liberty Buchanan's got a hold of yours? I mean, go right ahead and kill me. One way or the other, I know I'm dying today. But you should know that old Percival brought all this down on you himself. He worked with the Patriarch to eradicate my family. Just because we wanted old-fashioned American elections. Bet he didn't tell you that, did he? Uh, no, he uh, may have forgotten to mention that. Though, in light of my recent research, the uh, things I have read, it is not at all surprising. What? But... he would never... Even if that's true, what right did that give you to kill my family? I did nothing to you. My little brother did nothing to you, but you've destroyed us just the same. It was never about you, little Wesson. It was about hurting your father. He destroyed the innocents in my family because he didn't like what I had to say. Turnabout's fair play, I guess. I am truly sorry for your loss. Take consolation in knowing that you're about to have revenge. The ends justify the means, huh? Everyone thought that the Dorseys were dead. How did you survive all this time? We fled to the plains. Had to figure out how to live rough and blend in. 
Our kids who were born out there may as well be savages. We fought, and we scrapped, and we starved. When the Patriarch exiled Liberty, she came and found us. Offered us a shot at getting revenge on her father. I knew she was using me, but hell, seeing Saul's own daughter betraying him was worth it. Must be eating him alive. Why would you ally with the Plains gangs? Let me tell you something. Those gangs are living on a knife's edge of starvation. They have to fight, have to kill. If they don't put the fear of God in their neighbors, their neighbors are coming for them. What do you know about the attack on the Ranger convoy? Everything. My sons and I planned it. Word came that Buchanan was sending for help, trying to shore up his shaky throne. Didn't know much about you, but I did know I couldn't let aid reach him. Got the whole extended family together, and all our honorary members. Liberty said I was moving too soon and told me to wait. I thought she was being too cautious. Figured I'd get the revolution started on my own. Take out you and the Patriarch all at once. Guess Liberty was right. And I was wrong. You could have just talked to us instead of attacking us. Yeah, we could have. But we didn't. Mistakes were made and people died. Story of the fucking world, right? Speaking of people dying, I reckon you killed my son, Jared. What about my other son, Erastus? I haven't heard any word from him. She know what happened to him? This is not the climactic encounter I was expecting. Um, he tried to take revenge on us. He didn't survive. My poor, sweet boy. The planes turned him into the brute that you saw. That's not who he really was. You can take some consolation in knowing that you've managed to do what Buchanan couldn't. You finally wiped out the Dorseys. Yay. Enough chit-chat. Good. Well, this is the part where... you kill me, right? The last thing you're going to see... is a Wesson pulling a trigger on your worthless hide. Man, I, um, I've gotta say, I, um... I came in here... Fully expecting to shoot Neelius Dorsey. But he's as much a victim in this sad story as everyone else. Uh, Victory, the Patriarch included. Though much like with Victory, uh, the fact that he was wronged, even if it was in such a horrible way, does not make up for the terrible things that he's done since then. Because much like the Patriarch, he took a very ends-justify-the-means approach and did a lot of horrible things as a result. I think this might be one of those situations where violence just begets more violence. So let's at least try to take him alive. He might be more useful that way. Killing you won't solve anything, Neelius. I have to do everything myself. No wonder this revolution's off to such a shitty start. He dips his hand into his coat, pulls out a revolver, and before you can stop him, jams it under his chin. His corpse steams in the winter air. This is the man who ordered the death of all the rangers in your convoy, including you but it's still not clear if he's truly to blame. You think it's true? 
what he said? That my daddy murdered the Dorseys just for wanting elections? Um, honestly, I do think that's probably the case, but there are almost certainly complicating factors. He certainly seemed sure of it. We should find my father. We can ask him. He'll tell me the truth. She nods and chews on her lip. Come on. Our work here is done. Hmm. You know, uh, I really expected her to be more upset with us for depriving her of her vengeance. I guess her time traveling with us has really changed her. Dorsey Family Sword. Well balanced, honed, and deadly. There are few blades of this craftsmanship left in the world. Commando torso. Think we can actually use that. Gorilla suit. Um. Okay, sure. That SWAT light is handy, though. Okay, well, um, gorilla suit aside, a somber end to the Dorsey clan. Definitely a bit more of a bummer ending than uh, I would have liked, but this is uh, just one of those types of stories, you know? There are no happy endings in the post-apocalypse. That said, uh, we're past time. Uh, we do have one more house full of Dorseys down the way, and we will be clearing them out, but we'll take care of that next time. After that, I guess we'll uh, head back towards Colorado Springs. Or maybe just gun it straight for Denver. I'll give it some thought. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Wasteland 3, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube and Twitch channels, the official social media feeds, or the official store pages. As always, links are in the description. Story of the fucking world, right? <laughs>